packaged up some burr sage and soapweed for you guys, so you'd be getting that. I collected some uh, imperfect inflorescent flowers this morning in F3F. It's uh, a bronia maybe, but it's not like any mirabilis I've ever seen before. Uh, something in the four o'clock family, so it's maybe going to be useful for us. This one is staminate here. The anthers, uh, the anthers are like the sand verbena as I saw by the beach in Gaviota. It's that last day with Patricia. We were laying next to each other. The, the heat there is intense. The sun penetrates in such a way you feel chilled by it. I'd been in the ocean and then I came out and Patricia and I, we were together that one last time. And then I, uh, I looked over and I saw these sand verbenas and I tore a stem off of one. We knew that that was going to be the last time we were going to be together because she was going back to Stanford the next day. And that night was going to be not right. So we just lay there quietly. I pulled the flowers apart as we lay there in the sun. Cold with the sun. Cold. So that was the beginning of July. This is April 17th. So it's been nearly six years since I've touched a woman. Or been touched. It's all right. I mean, there are some times the wind is blowing hard outside after I've turned out the lights. I'll get up in the morning to go to the bathroom and I'll, I'll go back to bed and it's first light and everything is that gray beige. And I'm not even thinking about it. I just, I just slide into the bed and I remember I feel that. It's tugging. Something Bottomless, pulling me. Patricia. So I will finish up this area uh, up to the brittle bushes this week, and I'll get started on that whole area with the desert mallows. Uh, you know, try to find some plants we can make medicines with. Maybe heal somebody. Wish I could have been for you A more consistent friend The chapters that I skipped I'm gonna have to read